Mm, everything is all news, same stuff ever ever imagined. Still the same thing. No wonder why that keeps doing. It. You know, I think I'll go on for the Dragon Prince dot uh, com. Okay, let's see for the news, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be something new for today, or something else. Yeah! So, yeah. All this news happened really was crazy. But I'll tell you one thing. I am uh, really excited that what you're about to see is that the promo news of the Dragon Prince Season 6. For something you may have known, that I already watched Season 5, and um, I say it's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure that some of you guys are ready for Season 6 about the stars. So get ready for my news options and updates and getting ready for so much more. And then afterwards, once you recognize you already saw the Dragon Prince, you're about to see some greatest new Star Touch elves that recently appeared from our time. And I am really so excited that I really wanted to see the Star Touch elf, our Erevos, because I don't know how do you kill that guy, because I want him to be dead so freaking badly. So please, enjoy. Yes! Oh my god! Let's go! The Dragon Prince team will be in New York City to share in love with the some shocking secrets of what's coming to the next in the saga. Exclusive peek for the, of the explosive start of Book 6 stars that will leave that is shaken to the, for your very core. Prepare to meet the new Star Touch Elf and how to heart wrenched. Plus, there will be a Q&A, so bring your must-ask questions for the cast and crew. Oh my flipping god, I'm really freaking excited for this one, oh my god. Hello everybody, this is Don Rossi speaking, and today I have some very special news. So, after school, I saw the best news about Season 6 of The Dragon Prince. Well, you see, I am generally excited for seeing this right now, and uh, let's just say that um, I am recently excited to see this, like, OMG. I've been shocking to see this right now, but first I watched season Seasons 4 to 5, now for Season 6. I'm recently excited to see this right now, because if I can see this in real life, I would feel like um, being really shocked to see this right now because as I have like I've been like shocking to know if uh, if I saw that promo, that would be the one from season six. Like I really want to figure out what that will be, but I was thinking the same thing that it is. And, uh, you know, um, it was pretty cool that, uh, when they recently liked the Dragon Prince, they, um, uh, pretty much loved it, and, uh, you know, it was kind of pretty good at the moment, and, uh, and the next thing they did was, like, they recognized what they looked like, but they actually make sense of this one. And, uh, and, you know, I mean, I pretty much thought that Season 5 makes, makes, like, that the movie was over, uh, I mean, that this, I mean, the, I mean, the season is over, but, I mean, but, but, you know, I pretty much always wanted to like this, um, uh, I mean, this reunion, like, they pretty much, like, like they recently, um, like, completed the mission, uh, finding that best moment that they found of having, uh, the, uh, the prison of Erevos, that it makes sense, but when you, when you recognize they found it, that was pretty much amazing that it was. And then this end of, ending of actually doing that, that and the whole saga is actually amazing. I think the best episode I liked was was the was the episode called Finnegrin's Wake. Because back on this episode, I loved it how Prince Cal punched him in the face of Finnegrin's nose. I was shocked. I was like, oh my god, what did he do? Like, I didn't know he could do that. Like, I haven't seen him before my life, but I just like recently I was like really excited to see this right now. Like, oh my gosh. And uh I kind of recognized that 
one of the worst villains was uh I think uh I think a purple hair monster, I think. The one from uh season five. Yeah, that's the one. Although I I pretty much realized that even though like and then us end up ending up actually doing that, that and the whole saga was pretty good. And uh, I was trying to think about what it would really look like. So that I people think that when I recognize they talked to Minivertly, it should be making sense that season six will be awesome. And uh, and one of the things about season four was that it um uh, it was pretty awesome. Uh you know, uh, it's just, um, you know, one of the things you pretty much like is that when you pretty much loved it, and, uh, I pretty much liked it when I say it, but, like, each time you know the changes, they say, do this and do that, and you pretty much just like that how cool as it is, um, like, trying to know what it was, though, of, I, because I always hated the Finnegar, the worst villain, though, but anyway, so then I come in, I was out of stone on the smart kid, you know, I always pretty much think, I pretty much want to know that, but let me hear one of these greatest moments that I've ever known. But the one line I love about Callum is when he says, The tides are true as the ocean is deep. Because when he made that symbol of the spell, telling him not to be controlled, that gives me great excitement how this guy is. Like, oh my gosh. That was shocking. And you know, I love how this new character named Elmer, he was recently appearing in seasons, um, uh, season six, I mean, for episode six, and... Uh, eight, and I can't just can't believe how this really happens, though. Like, I love that when he bowed to King Zorn's knees, I mean, Zorin's uh, knees, I mean, I would never know. But when he says, like, his name was Elmer, I love that how when he throw Finnegan right up at the boat, and the and the Liave, he recently kind of ate him up, though, and that makes sense that when he's trying to eat him, and you have been able to recognize that Elmer was on the good side now, instead of following Finnegan's orders. And, uh, it's pretty much awesome, though, like, and, and that's how I pretty much loved um, seasons five um, to one. I mean, one to five. And uh, you know, I pretty much want to know is that it's just um, you pretty much want to know that. And one, and one thing you recognize that I pretty much love was that Nyx was a totally back. But when I saw her, it was amazing. And the best, funniest line is is that Elmore recently smiled. <laughs> I haven't seen his smile before. But that was amazing, like, oh my gosh. But the one thing I was worried about is, like, Callum and Rayla. I feel like that they're, like, a great couple to each other, but I'll never forget that. But, um, you know, I just kind of love it. And when I saw the final episode of Infantis Sagwoon as a death of a child, that recently um, makes me uh, really shocked to see this. But I think the sad part was Subaya was getting affected and corrupted. Although, I think the best honorable moments was that when he when she fell uh, because she couldn't fly, was that um, I was thinking like maybe like um, I was thinking like maybe this is like the best moment ever. Like, oh my gosh, no, like I recognized it was amazing. Although, I think the best thing um, was that, um, I mean, so one of the things that I have in episode 3 was that, um, uh, for them, who was, uh, trying to find, um, I think it's, uh, uh the prison of Erevos. So, I think the greatest moment I loved is, uh, you know, I pretty much think that all of this was, was pretty much amazing that they just, recently wanted to have to make sense of all of the characters making something new. And uh, I pretty much think that it was amazing that the Brown Island wasn't real. It was the ocean, but I pretty much think that it was at the bottom of the ocean, but I recognized that it was pretty much crazy, though. But the greatest episode I liked was, I think, um, Bait and Switch. They're like the greatest best friends ever. Like, OMG. And I kind of liked it how it was actually amazing when that happens. But on the final episode, uh, for Rayla, um, she just couldn't breathe underwater. But I felt worried for her. And, uh, you know, it, it makes sense. But one of the reasons for that is because um, it's just making sure one of the characters in the moments are, like, pretty awesome.
And uh, I think the greatest moments like when there was uh, the waves flying around uh, Callum's and uh, King Ezrin's uh, legs. Uh, but some of the first greatest powers, I was like, wow, this is pretty amazing stuff. And then it was just so energized again enough for there because then you can start to see what the show was going to do from that side as well. But one of the other things that I find very impressive was uh, the voice acting and the characters. But one of the things that I pretty much loved was that um, was that uh, when the book of when everyone says the blood of of Lord Viren's kid, which means that must be like the the girl named Claudia. So I recognized that when I realized that it was crazy, and uh, I recently saw the posters of seasons five because when I saw that um back from. Uh, I I say back uh, from months ago was the fact that um, I pretty much think that the posters look like amazing when they made that because Dragon Prince on Twitter he was the best uh, amazing uh, uh, Wonderstorm uh, character I recognized but I might say that most um, greatest moments that I loved was looking at the point where I recognized but I was thinking that um, that when Lord Viren is going to drop the knife down, he decided that he's not going to do dark magic anymore. And um, that gives me great warmth to see how this happens. And uh, I was shocked to see this one. It was amazing. Although, I think the most craziest thing was when Rayla got the swords from a uh, Switch's portal. That I was freaking shocked that when she recently sliced Claudia's octopus legs and it bleeds out of ink. That was shocking though, because I was pretty much more, more crazy, horrifying, shocking that it is. And it was pretty much making sense that really just, I mean, that Callum was recently pushed out of the potion out of it because it just makes sense of it. And, uh, I'd say, um, you know, um, I was thinking like that, that when they found the prison, it was under the shell. I was thinking like, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the prison. And guys, we did it. We recently found the prison. <laughs> I was like, really great to see this. And uh, there was this uh, a great moment that I always loved about. Although, I think the worried part was that Cringe and I has been betrayed. But I don't know what she has um, been betrayed for, but I don't understand. I mean, what did she do wrong this time? But I guess we'll have to find out, I mean. Because we'll just have to wait and see for season six, I suppose. And I think for the best part, there was this uh, healing elf called the Mushroom Mage. Now, you might be wondering, what is a Mushroom Mage? Well, I've been looking up some pictures, and uh, I was thinking like that when that helps Subaya, I was thinking like that could help her, but I wonder what that green magic is. Although, the worst part ever, when I saw that thing, when I recognized that when Erevos was listening to a Queen Jedi's ear, he said, like, I swallowed her. Like, oh my, I was like, OMG. How did that, I mean, that's what he said to her mother? I mean, like, I was like, oh my gosh. And, um, you know, there was, like, so many other things that I missed. And, um, uh, you know, I loved uh, when Bayet was having... Uh, three bait legs or sea legs or whatever they're called, but I pretty much loved how to make sense of this one. So, um, I pretty much loved how the prison was an orb. I was shocked to see this, and uh, I was very completed that um, when Erevo says that, that tomorrow the sun will rise, but Lord Viren will not. I was shocked, but I didn't even know how that happened. So I think from before that was the mushroom mage of the end credit poster. I was shocked to see this. And the other one, I think, um, that I was gonna say that, um, there was an octopus that there was, like, two octopus. One was little, one was big. And I think the very next one was that there was uh, Lord Viren, Ervos, and the, uh, uh, bug person, whatever it is. I don't know what it's called. And, uh, there was Ervos on the seashell, I believe. Because, um, there was, like, so many shocking stuff. There was a logo, I think, right on the four, I mean, on the map. Or maybe the hat of Ervos's head. I was shocked. But I think the last thing that I pretty much missed was actually Lord Viren laying down on the ground. And um, I was 
freaking shocked. Like, I was shocking to see how this really happens. Like, I'm just, like, saying, like, how, like, this really happened. I was like, oh, my goodness. I don't know how that happened. But I want to see how that really happens in Season 6 when it comes out. But I can't do that without my mom because I just want to feel like, um, you know, um, I just want to feel like seeing this on October on the, on the Javits Center. And um, I was thinking, like, maybe that what if it makes sense that it could possibly have worked, though? Because I was feeling like that, oh my gosh, how is this even happening? And I recognized that this was the best moment ever. Like, oh my goodness. Like, oh my gosh. And when I saw the news of the convention center, or the Javits Center, I'd say, <laughs> I was going to say that uh, it recently starts, like, at 4.45 p.m. So that really starts at the Javits Center room, 406.2. And what I see is what people got. I mean, and I pretty much recognized that I'm really shocked to see all the new characters in the Dragon Prince, Mystery of Erevos. But I pretty much think that when that recently happens, and um, I want to know how that recently happens, of what will happen, or what could happen in the future, and I was pretty much thinking, how will this happen in Season 6 to Episodes 1 through 9? So, I think for 45 episodes, I think for the next um, two seasons are going to be, um, uh, I think, I guess, uh, I think for Seasons uh, 6 to 7, there's going to be uh, 63 episodes, I think. Because if I can check correctly, I believe I was correct. There is going to be, like, uh, so much episodes into this movie. I mean, I mean the series. <laughs> because, um, I'm really shocked right now because, you know, I was just getting that making sense, like... Like, I was pretty much shocked, and, um, uh, pretty much want to know, like, there was, like... And there was... And there, there seems to be, like, so much stuff they had in mind. And I bet there was, um... So many other stuff, like, uh... They had, like, great stuff, like, the great, uh, whole epic greatness. And, uh, I was thinking, like, um, that would, like, be, like, the best thing about them was that, um, I pretty much think that when the Dragon Prince, uh, came out, like, a couple of years ago, I was shocked to see the first, uh, I mean, was so shocked to see the first season to, uh, the fifth season, I think. I was shocked to see this, and, uh, when I saw them, they were like amazing. I was like shocked to see them. Cause um, I was like amazed to see how this happens. Like, oh my gosh. I was like making sense of that. Like, then I was making like some audio stories like, like feel pasta, if you see the link in the videos. Um, and there was so much more that I recognized that I have realized I mentioned, but I didn't even know they were like in the story. But um, but in the series, um, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> Maybe, like, they make sense, like, they were trying to scare the heck out of me. Like, all this stuff, like, they recently happened from back in the past. I was gonna say, like, OMG. Like, that was shocking, like, what a shocker on that one. And, um, and there was so many uh, stuff that recently happened in the end credit artwork stuff that they did. And, um, I was thinking, like, what if they make sense for having so much new characters appearing in the show and uh i was amazed to see this and uh and i was thinking like that um you know if they could like recently uh make a bunch of shows like and um i was pretty much wondering like if season six comes out i want to see how it recently how it all happens so i pretty much know that there's gonna be um the the Javits Center, and uh, I pretty much hope that I'll be able to get to see this sooner or later, and I bet there will be some more stuff coming up. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, like and subscribe, hit the like, and don't forget to keep it fringing, guys. So uh, like and subscribe, hit the like, and if you'd like to see uh, more from our videos that was done by me, or the arts I've done, you can follow me on Divine Art and uh, so much stuff I've already done. So I subscribe to the like, but um, if you need anything, uh, you know, it's just, <laughs> you know. <laughs>
you know, um, I'm going to my trailer now, like, <laughs> yeah, like, it makes sense, but I'm really excited for that. 